Hello dear students, welcome once again to our channel Maths in Minutes with Priya. Today we are going to deal with clip 61 Pipes and Tanks Questions based on Pipes and Tanks which are again based on principles of time and work. We have done 10 clips on time and work from clip 51 to clip 60. I hope you watched all those clips because if you watch those clips and practice those methods, this pipe and tanks will be a cakewalk for you. Very easy. So it's my uh, suggestion to you that you first watch clips of time and work. Clip numbers 51 to 60 and then you will find this topic very easy. So let's begin with today's topic. Pipe A and pipe B can fill a tank in 2 hours and 3 hours respectively. Pipe C can empty it in 4 hours. In how much time tank will be filled? Now what is the similarity between time and work question and this pipe type of question? See here, pipe A and pipe B can fill the tank in 2 hours and 3 hours respectively. It's same as a can finish a work in 2 hours, B can finish a work in 3 hours and here pipe A fills tank in 2 hours, pipe B fills tank in 3 hours. That's the similarity. Then where is the difference? Difference lies here. Here there is a pipe C which empties the tank. It's the opposite action of filling. These two are filling and this one is emptying. So this is an opposite action. Getting it? That is the only difference between those main and work problem and pipe and tank problem. So pipe A and pipe B, 2 hours and 3 hours filling and pipe C is emptying in 4 hours. You remember what the, our procedure was in time and work. We write these hours and take their LCM if you remember. LCM is 12 so let the capacity of tank be 12 units. Earlier in time and work what we used to assume let work be 12 units but here let capacity of tank be 12 units because these pipes are attached to tank. Their work is to either fill the tank or empty the tank. So capacity of tank is going to be the total work. So I am going to assume let tank capacity will be 12 units same as this LC. And next step is always the division. So in 1 hour, pipe A fills 12 divided by 2, that is 6 units. Pipe B fills 12 divided by 3, that is 4 units. And pipe C empties 12 divided by 4, that is 3 units. This is emptying and these two are filling in 1 hour. So when all 3 are open, what will happen? These two will fill. 6 plus 4, 10 units they will fill, but this pipe C will take out the water. It will empty the water of 3 units, so 6 plus 4 minus 3. In earlier example, that is time and work example, what we do, if A, B, C are working together, then we just add. But here when A, B, C are working together, this action is opposite action and hence we are going to subtract. So 6 plus 4, 10, 10 minus 3, 7. In 1 hour, 7 units will be filled. Now we want total time to fill the tank. Total tank capacity is 12 units that we already saw. So 7 units are filled in 1 hour. 12 units will be filled in how many hours? 12 into 1 divided by 7. That is 12 upon 7 which is equivalent to 1 phi upon 7 hours that is your answer 1 integer phi by 7 hours very easy exactly same as time and work only slight difference is negative element which we need to subtract that is the slightest difference otherwise examples are ditto same as time and work let's solve one more two pipes can fill the tank in 10 minutes and 12 minutes respectively. A drain pipe can empty 2.8 gallons per minute. All three pipes working together can fill the tank in 8 minutes, find capacity of tank. Now this is 
slightly higher level and different example so please understand it first here they have given minutes of feeling but for draining they have not given the minutes they have mentioned this capacity a drain pipe can empty 2.8 gallons per minute so this is different and they have asked us capacity of tank and they have given total minutes in which tank can be filled so let's see how to solve this so first i'm going to write pipe a and pipe b they fill in 10 and 12 hours 12 and 10 minutes their lcm is 60 so i'm going to assume capacity of tank as 60 units now remember i need to find capacity of tanks only but here it will be in gallons because of this the quantity that they have mentioned so here I am assuming capacity of tank as 60 units and then I have to find that 60 units is equivalent to how many gallons. That we will see later how to do it first uh, carry on our usual procedure. So this is 60 units capacity of tank next step is division. So pipe A in 1 minute will fill 60 divided by 10 that is 60 units. Pipe B in 1 minute will fill 60 divided by 12 that is 5 units that means type A sorry pipe A and pipe B when they are opened together in 1 minute they will fill 11 units. Up to this step everything clear? We have followed usual procedure only up to this step. Now understand the next step. This step is very important. So listen carefully. They are saying that all these three pipes they fill the tank in eight minutes that they have given that means this pipe a and pipe b were on for eight minutes correct so in one minute they fill 11 units in eight minutes they should fill 88 units but what is capacity of tank capacity of tank is 60 units correct so they have filled 88 units but only 60 units was filled why because there was another pipe that is drain pipe which was taking the water out correct so from this 88 units few gallons were taken out and only 60 units were filled that is capacity of tank which we have assumed now this draining pipe when it worked for 8 minutes they are saying a drain pipe can empty 2.8 gallons per minute this is given to us a drain pipe can empty 2.8 gallons per minute. Now in 8 minutes how much it will empty? 2.8 multiplied by 8 gallons. Am I right? In 1 minute it empties 2.8 gallons. So in 8 minutes it will empty 2.8 into 8 gallons. So these 88 units which pipe A and B fill together. From that this much was taken out. This much was drained and 60 units tank was filled this equation is very much clear see this equation is sole of this problem you when you understand this the whole problems becomes very easy so if you haven't understood this step please watch this video again this part of video again and please understand it and only then move further so now what i'll do what i want i want capacity of tank that is the question 60 units is how many uh, gallons that i want so here what i'll do i'll take this 60 here on left hand side and this gallons on right hand side so 60 88 minus 60 is 28 units and 2.8 into 8 minus when it goes to right side becomes plus these many gallons so 28 units is equal to these many gallons. So 1 unit is equal to this divided by 28. Now how to solve this? Decimal point shift of decimal. 28 ones are and this is 10. 8 upon 10 that is 0 0.8 gallon. So 1 unit is equal to 0 0.8 gallons. Now I have my equation. And what is the question? Capacity of tank that is 60 units is equal to how many gallons? So 1 unit is 0 0.8 gallons. 60 units is how much? 60 into 0 0.8 that is 
48 gallons. Again, for this multiplication of decimals, division of uh, decimal point fraction, please watch my initial clips. Very important because in every problem you are going to get multiplication, division, addition and subtraction of fractions. So you should be fast in it. So please watch initial clips and practice. So answer is 48 gallons. That is your answer. Now let's move to next question. Next question. Two taps A and B can fill the tank in 8 and 12 hours respectively. If both taps are opened simultaneously, then how many hours before tap B should be closed so that tank A is filled? So tank is filled in 5 hours. I have selected very different type of questions for this pipe and tanks. They are from earlier year papers. But all these questions are different from each other. I have tried that question should not repeat so that you can get the maximum variety. Now A and B, 8 and 12 as usual I have written their time 8 and 12 LCM is 24. So capacity of tank is 24 units. That is our usual step. Next step is also usual division. So A in 1 hour is filling 3 units. B in 1 hour is filling 2 units. Up to this step everything clear? See generally these first two steps are similar for every example. From third step everything changes. So now let's see how this example is changing. In this example there is no drainage pipe. There is no leakage. There is no pipe emptying the tank. Both are filling only. But what is the question? Only one pipe is working for 5 hours. That is pipe A is working for 5 hours. But this tab B should be closed before 5 hours. Now A in 1 hour fill 3 units. So in 5 hours it is going to fill 15 units. Right? And the capacity is 24. So out of this 24, A is going to fill 15 units. So 24 minus 15, that is 9 units will be filled by B. Am I right? Now in 1 hour, B is filling 2 units. And now we are saying that B is filling 9 units. So 2 units are filled in 1 hour. 9 units are filled in how many hours? 9 into 1 divided by 2. 9 upon 2 that is 4 and half. 4 and half hours B is working. Correct? But is that the question? Pipe B or tab B is working for how many hours? Is that the question? No. What is the question? How many hours before tab B should be closed so that tank is filled in 5 hours? Now B is closed in 4 and half hours only and A is working for 5 hours. The total tank is filled in 5 hours out of which B is working for 4 and half hours. That means it is closed half an hour before or 30 minutes before. Your answer is 30 minutes. Your answer is not 4 and half hours. Either you can say half an hour or 30 minutes. Both are same. But it is not 4 and half. In the given answers, there will be one answer 4 and half and you will be very happy to mark it because you got it here. But that is not the question. Question is how many hours before type tab B should be closed and answer will be 30 minutes before or half an hour before. Very clear? I am going to make one more clip on pipe and tanks in which I am going to again solve higher level examples from previous year papers so that you get maximum practice. Those examples will be also different, very different from each other. I am not going to repeat same type of examples. So please watch earlier 10 clips of time and work and again these two clips of pipes and tanks so that this chapter will be fully prepared and you will score good marks in this topic. Generally students are very much scared of this type of problems. So I have covered extensive number of examples. In next part also I am going to cover few higher level examples of pipe and tanks. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel Maths in Minutes with Priya, please do so. It's absolutely free. So let's meet in next part. 
Till then, stay happy, stay blessed. Bye for today.